Alright, this is vermilion cliffs. This is stomach tissue. That's blood pools of blood. Okay, it's vermilion cliffs. That's the stomach lining. And not only is that, it has all the rest of the body parts in very, very seriously good detail. All the connective tissues and so forth. You see that? That is actual stomach lining photograph. This is vermilion cliffs. This is a guy walking on a little chunk of somebody's stomach. This is really amazing. I study biology deeply and this is a membrane of some sort. This here, I want you to look at this and then this stuff and then this barrier between the two. Now let's look a little closer at this. You see what's coming out of that tube or feeding into that tube? And that is a tube. That's not just something that's there by accident. You see this here? The design of that tube, to me, it looks like it fed in here and it was a, a reverse valve so that if it tried to come back, those flaps would close. That's what you see in veins. Now, this, I don't know what this is, but I got a feeling this may be in the lymph node area. You see this? This is, this is not good stuff. All right? It's coming, I think, from the here, which looks like some bad stuff, too. There's two different layers here, and there's a border between the two. And that's the way your interstitium works. You, your interstitium has a bunch of balls in it to keep it stretchy and move it. And this may be the balls that are in there. I don't know. But that interstitium is basically a membrane. And a membrane separates one thing from another thing. And that's a separation if I've ever seen one. And I was looking at this. This whole area is 100% biological. Now this really kind of turns me on. I'm not sure which way it's going. Is it flushing there down? It, it seems like that valve is there to close it off if it tried to come back this way. Is it coming down there? I don't know. Now, there's all kinds of little spots here that are moving things through the membrane. This is a big one. All right, this is... Uh, Just another area where it's it's getting mixed together. Now, what this is here, I do not know. Something's going on there where there's basically an abrupt transition from this membrane zone. You see it comes down to here and then this. What's going on there, I really do not know. But this is some serious, serious biology. Of course, there's weathering. There's been, I'm sure, all kinds of things. But see how it steps here? Here is 1673 altitude. That's 1673. That's 1675. Is it going down or up? We've got 1675. 1674. Now look at this stuff here. There's some strange looking biology here. But you see this? There's something here that's dumping. Dumping in or being dumped out. That I don't know. But it's they're here, here. They're all over the place. I'm not sure which direction it's going, to be perfectly honest with you. But there was one time, this looks like there was at one time a tube that ran over this whole thing. And you see, that's the kind of biology you have in, in, um, whoops. That's the kind of biology you have in these tubes. They, they join together, they have all kinds of little flappy things that, they come together, and I believe this was all one big tube at one time. And it ran up to here, and then probably was covered to here, too. And this is all blood vessels or something underneath it. It just sort of collapsed. 
and that's the last remnants of it. Now, was this underneath that tube? It would have to be if it's what I'm saying. And it's just collapsed. You see, you got more of that little angular looking stuff. And the tube itself just collapsed. That's all I could think. And it runs way down, way down, way down, way down. It's all the same tube. And then it connects in with a whole bunch of other ones because it's a, a vascular network. And they all mix together here and go to their separate ways. But it's all one huge membrane. And look at the size of this thing. You see it? That's one big organ. Now what it is, I do not know. But I'll show you why I can make these statements about organs. How elegant organs are constructed. This is not weathering. This is not just simple patterns of weathering. Weathering doesn't make these abrupt transitions like this. Weathering doesn't make all of these very, very, you know, they're, they're elegant looking little bleed-offs and so forth. Weathering doesn't do this stuff. This is biology that is now turned solid. And I have, well, I'll show you. This is the kind of thing we're looking at there in the desert. I'm not kidding you. This stuff gets so, so, so unbelievably complicated, the structures. And they're all over this earth. And these colors and so forth, the bile and the gallbladder fluids and things, these different little green colors and stuff like that you see all over the earth, those are products of these organs. You see how complicated that organ is? I don't even know if you can see the complication inside of it. It's absolutely incredible the complexity of the organ system in the body. Absolutely phenomenal. And if you look around enough and you know what you're looking for, you can find these things. They're literally everywhere. Because the earth was made of biology. I'm just, that's just a fact. Here, here's one more, I think. Right, here's your stomach. I have found places on earth that are exactly patterned like that and they have all those little balls inside of those patterns. It's a, exactly like that, right there, exactly like that. And that's the stomach. The organ system is just so complex, it's absolutely incredible. Look at the different layers on the stomach tissue. And the different angles that they wrap around and so forth. There's muscles, there are all kinds of things going on there. And then there's these up here. This is, uh, I can't remember the name of what that place is. Oh boy, it's on the tip of my tongue. Hold on a second. 